Hi, my name is John Knight. I work for a company called Smarter Interactive. I'm just going to give you a brief overview of what the differences are between Skype and video conferencing. The first one that everyone will be aware of is Skype is free, or is certainly promoted as being free. There are some options to add uh, better quality and guaranteed calls, but and you can buy Skype credits, um, but the major reason that people start to use Skype is it is a free application. Skype also has applications for a majority of mobile devices now, so things like iPhones, iPads, um, Android devices. We now have mobile technology um, or mobile apps, um, sorry, apps available for these mobile devices. Um, and certainly some people will, will argue that once you've set up Skype, it's easy to use. You have an address book, you simply um, go and find the person you want to call and you can call them, providing they're online, of course. Some of the potential disadvantages and the reason that you may be watching this video are you may have experienced poor picture quality. Um, you may feel that uh, the audio quality is not up to scratch. Um, and these all relate to um, what you might classify as quality of service. Uh, you may also want to do multi-way calling and also look into options like um, being able to record your calls um, in a more uh, in a simpler way um, or alternatively there may be some security concerns um, that you have regarding using um, a publicly and freely available application like Skype. Um, video conferencing, um, the manufacturers of video conferencing and um, uh, we as well, if we were talking to me about video conferencing, would promote some of the benefits as being um, the fact that the systems can run up to full high definition resolution, therefore hopefully dealing with some of the picture quality issues. But what people don't necessarily appreciate with video conferencing is the refresh rate on the, um, the picture. That's the thing that will actually give you the best quality picture. And there are systems now that will refresh the screen up to 60 times per second. This, is, um, this enables real-time movements, real-time gestures to be picked up, which just simply can't be achieved by using uh, lower quality um, software and lower quality cameras um, with the Skype solution. Um, there's also the option to use things like PTZ, which stands for Pan, Tilt and Zoom cameras. So in other words, the ability to have things like presets on your cameras, um, the ability to, be able to zoom in and out, move the camera around. Um, it makes a video conferencing system much, much more comprehensive, certainly in a meeting room environment. Some of the negatives or reasons that people maybe haven't adopted video conferencing usually relate to the expense or perceived expense of it, which is something that, that Skype has always promoted against. But both products still use or can use the internet, which is therefore free to, to communicate. So the expense of video conferencing is now not so much about the connectivity because the connectivity can be done through the internet at a relatively low cost it actually relates to um, the potential perceived expense of the equipment but again i'll go on some options with that it can be viewed as complicated um, although um, again that issue is being um, dealt with by the ability to, be able to use the internet now rather than things like isdn lines um, but the software and, and the manufacturers and the handsets and the remote controls have all improved dramatically. Um, the other issue that we often get asked with regards to video conferencing is how it is that you can connect to somebody that doesn't have a video conferencing system, whereas Skype is in theory freely available to anybody by downloading their software onto your PC, your computer, your mobile device. This issue has now been dealt with as well because um, there are options now that allow anybody to download um, a free video conferencing software onto a device to connect to a system that you run. 
So the first thing to say is there's nothing that can beat seeing uh, the difference, seeing a genuine video conference um, conferencing system in action in comparison to Skype. But seeing is believing, and can you imagine talking to somebody in full high definition resolution? The image quality is significantly better. So you can actually pick up on everybody's individual gestures, the room they're sitting in, the environment they're working in, the colleagues they're with, um, as well as in this particular picture, have the ability to have a multi-way call taking place as well. And this quality is achieved using the internet, but is down, uh, allows you to run up to HD resolutions um, and up to 60 frames per second. And that's the two things that really enable the quality aspect to be achieved. There are now lots of options available and um, without speaking to um, our customers individually, we can't recommend any single solution. Um, but there are options available for mobile devices. There's um, a manufacturer um, called ClearSea who have a range of apps available for mobile devices. Um, there's um, a product called Mirial, which is one of the products that's available as a free download. Um, and LifeSize, um, one of our key manufacturers, have a new product that they've released, which is a cloud-based server. Um, so they manage all of the connections and connectivity on your behalf. So it's cloud-based, um, and that allows you to um, run from a PC um, device um, or from a, a, a standard uh, life-size endpoint or hardware-based system. But there are lots of options available now for both mobile users and PC users at relatively low costs, but these systems will still allow you to run up to high definition quality and link into other video conferencing systems. Home systems or, or, or personal systems, you have products that, uh, an example of which is here, this is called the Life Size Passport. This will fit into the palm of your hand. Um, so it's a, a very, very small uh, device. Um, the advantage of this being it, it can be transported easily, um, set up in a home environment um, uh, or a, a, an individual's office, um, or the LG Executive, life-size LG Executive, um, basically integrates this Passport product into uh, the LCD screen so that you actually just have one screen to connect with power and network. Of course, there's a range of meeting room systems available, and there are so many available that it would be better to talk to you individually to understand exactly what you want to achieve. But pricing for meeting room systems can start from as little as uh, £2,500. One of the things that we're trying to uh, encourage people to consider is the option to lease equipment. Um, and if you break that down into a lease cost, Pricing can start from as little as £200 per month um, for people to be able to experience and benefit from high definition video conferencing. So for advice and pricing, please visit our website, which as you can see is smarterinteractive.co.uk or by all means give us a call. We're happy to discuss any of these options over the phone with you, invite you into a video conference or alternatively come and visit your premises and do a live demonstration. We also have trial units um, available for you to try before you buy. Um, so there's a range of different options and how we may be able to help you either with an existing video problem or a potential future video requirement. We hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.